Hey guys, my name is Joseph and this is my Rooster Teeth fan submission video. Now as you can see, obviously behind me, there is no Rooster Teeth memorabilia. There's a bottle of water, but there's no Rooster Teeth memorabilia. So I'll try to do this uh, my best without editing. I don't feel like really editing a lot of stuff in there. And uh, just express what I'm trying to say with my words. Now, I haven't been watching Rooster Teeth since the beginning, unfortunately. But I started watching maybe six years ago uh, when I saw the first season of Red vs. Blue and um, I was in middle school at the time so my thoughts obviously were oh my god I love Halo right now I so love Halo and they put voices on the Halo characters and animated it technology can't get more advanced ah. and you know so that got me hooked that got me hooked to the company that got me hooked to the series and everything and from that point on as I develop through middle school and through high school, I'm about to graduate now, I got to see the company develop and evolve to where it is now. And um, hopefully you can hear my grandma talking in the background. She has no idea what Rooster Teeth is. But um, um, yeah, I mean, I love the company, but I, what I really, really love about the content you guys put out and you guys interacting with your fans is that Everybody in that company is there because they love what they do. They love gaming. They love uh, cinematography. They love, you know, animation. And that really gets to me because as a kid that's about to go out to college and about and is about to pursue his own goals and stuff like that, you know, it's really crazy to see this company evolve into something just so big and so awesome over the last six years. And, you know, I'll, I've... You guys are the ones that have gotten me into listening to podcasts. Now I listen to tons of podcasts, but the Rooster Teeth podcast was the original one, which I probably shouldn't have been listening to, like in, in eighth grade or something. But, you know, I loved it. And the thing I loved about it is you guys added your personality and gave it to your fans. You just served it up on a dish in a drunken fashion and you gave it to your fans. And a lot of gamers or a lot of game companies will fake this personality to cater to their gamers or they will only go for the money and forget about their fan base but I think you guys you guys have a nice balance of what you guys are working on and um, you guys have your own fan convention which is so awesome like this is the culmination of I think the American dream a bunch of people doing what they love uh, being able to interact with their consumers and their fans and just having a good time all the time maybe not all the time but most of the time and uh, I, I just appreciate how you guys put the faces of Rooster Chief like Barb, Gavin, Bernie, Gus all of them you guys put them out there and you guys don't fake it as far as I know you know you guys only show us what you want us to show because it's so it maybe a little fake just kidding but if you do fake you're, you're good fakers but um you guys put it out there and you guys put out the real you you know these are people that I can relate to as a gamer you know you know there's the eh, eh, nerdy side of us and there's the really chill dorky side of us so I really appreciate uh, you guys you know just evolving with me and adding personality to all your work and this is gonna be my first RTX and my first real commitment to a Rooster Teeth event so I'm excited and I can't wait to see all you guys so I know you have to see, watch this, even if it may be the crappiest thing in the world. I know you have to watch it. So thank you guys, and uh, I guess I'll see you soon.